The CMT Music Awards are a place to make an impression, and these country stars made a bad one. The 2024 red carpet saw denim disasters, overdone outfits, and coordinating fits that fell flat. And that's just scratching the surface. We've got a lot to say about these looks. Fans know that Harper Grace has many kinds of sparkle in her wardrobe. For the CMT red carpet, she wore a black and silver mini dress with black and silver accessories. That may sound simple enough, but with this getup, it's anything but. Between the silver chains at the top of her dress, the hanging black fabric, and the very chunky necklace, this whole ensemble looks a lot like the scraps left behind when you're done wrapping presents. It's probably fun to wear, but it's not that great to look at. If you've seen Kristen Stewart lately, you know that underwear as outerwear has been having a bit of a moment. The see-through lace dress that Carter Faith wore on the red carpet put a twist on this that we actually liked. The super high-waisted underwear and strapless bra actually created a silhouette that made her visible underwear work. Unfortunately, the rest of the dress made the look fall flat. The lace glittery finish and oversized shoulder bows made this dress look more fit for a dance recital than the red carpet. Roberta Lee wore two of country music's all-time favorite fashion trends, a cowboy hat and tons of rhinestones. But this look just ever so slightly missed the mark. The silhouette and cut of this two-piece ensemble looks beautiful on Lee. The rhinestones, however, make it look over the top, and the hat and oversized earrings take the style in too many directions. Without the accessories and glitz, this look would have been the height of red carpet class. Going bare beneath a suit jacket has been a big look this award season. Cody Ballou put a twist on it by layering a mesh shirt under his coat. It was an interesting idea, but unfortunately, he paired it with way too many other elements. We've been seeing men rocking corsets with suits before, but this glittery one is just too much when paired with other eye-catching elements of this uniquely shaped, shiny suit. The one-shoulder blue mini dress that Macy Banks wore on the red carpet was utterly perplexing. So much about this look felt dated, but how she styled it also felt very juvenile. All in all, it looks like Banks may have recycled a school dance look she wore in her youth, and that just didn't work for this red carpet. To pull off this dress for this occasion, Banks needed some edgier accessories, a more sophisticated hairstyle, and maybe even some statement makeup. Sam Williams certainly took a few fashion risks with this outfit. We're just not sure why he chose to take them all at once. While the bubblegum pink flared pants are the most eye-catching part of this fit, these actually could have been fun if styled differently. After all, they do have a touch of Kennergy. I think I owe you an apology. Huh? Yet the suit jacket with lacy sleeves just didn't fit the vibe of the pants, and choosing to go shirtless underneath with a chunky pendant necklace took the outfit in random directions. Derek and Brandon Campbell boldly wore black and blue on the red carpet, but they kind of looked like they were getting ready for bed. We love their commitment to coordination, but the shiny blue fabric and lace jacket looked less elevated and more like sleepwear. This duo once again proved that the shirtless suit trend is a look that's far from easy to pull off. You shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but we're making an exception here. Stephanie Quayle's outfit loudly paid homage to her forthcoming book, Why Do We Stay? How My Toxic Relationship Can Help You Find Freedom, which comes out on April 30th. We weren't paid to say that, but we may as well explain what's going on here. You have questions? I have answers. Quayle is understandably excited, but this dress took things a bit too far. Does her book cover important topics? Sure. Was this a good way to promote it? Also, yes. But she could have just carried the bag with an otherwise understated ensemble, which would have been a more subtle way of getting her point across. As is, this look is literally information overload. The CMT Awards are certainly a bit more open to casual attire than other awards shows, but Erin Enderlin officially took things too far with this casual look. A few stars successfully rocked jeans on this red carpet. After all, denim and country go hand in hand. Yet Enderlin's jeans felt ill-fitting and out of date, and there wasn't enough going on in the rest of the look to balance them out. While this look isn't our cup of tea, perhaps it is, to quote her song, Somebody's Shot of Whiskey. We have to give Jane Seymour credit. She doesn't come from the world of country music, but she still wanted to dress the part. We can appreciate her cowboy boots, but what is going on with the rest of this look? The dress's silhouette is strange thanks to its dropped waist, sequins, and asymmetrical skirt, and the tights underneath make it clash even more with the boots. Furthermore, her hair, makeup, and jewelry are too pared down to balance out the rest of the look. 
Megan Patrick was another star who didn't nail the denim look. The gray acid wash look of this denim doesn't do Patrick's coloring justice, and accessorizing it with chunky turquoise and a cowboy hat almost feels costumey. The worst offense here, though, is the matching denim trench coat with black fringe. There's just too much going on here, and the effect is overwhelming. She's not wearing this outfit. This outfit's wearing her. But wait, it gets worse. Leah Turner somehow managed to outdo Megan Patrick's denim disaster, and she didn't need a floor-length jacket to do it either. There's no way around it. This strapless mini dress with a giant denim flower just isn't cute. We're not sure that any accessories could salvage this, but Turner's beige cowboy hat, fringy sandals, and fishtail braid certainly weren't able to do it. In a sea of confusing outfits, Priscilla Block may have had the most puzzling look. We're starting to see a trend here since Block took home the same title on our 2023 CMA Awards Worst Dress List. This year, Block wore a black corset and see-through black pants with a floral design. This outfit in itself was risky, but it may have worked with different accessories. Yet the strappy necklaces and thick choker just added too many confusing details to an already distracting ensemble. Every once in a while, you need to carry a roomy bag. But what exactly did Blanco Brown haul to the CMT Awards? Was he heading straight to the airport after? I'm gonna learn how to fly a plane. Okay. Giant bag aside, he's dressed a bit too casually for the event. And while his self-promotion wasn't quite as egregious as Stephanie Quayle's book ad, his Blanco Brown baseball cap did feel just a little over the top. We love when a star has a signature look, and that's certainly true of Lily Rose. The villain singer is often seen sporting a baseball cap and some iteration of denim on denim. Yet Rose can do formal wear very well, as she proved last year when she sported a black and white tuxedo at her wedding. The black and brown ensemble she wore on this year's CMT Awards red carpet, though, is utterly blah. And we'd love to see her find a way to elevate her go-to look at the next awards show. It's not easy to make an entirely black ensemble feel like too much, but Melissa Etheridge managed to do just that. While she may have opted for just one color, she overloaded her look when it came to texture. The shiny finish of the jacket, paired with the satiny shirt and leather-beaded pants, made for way too many elements going on at once. And that was before piling on multiple eye-catching accessories. The hat, chunky necklaces, and big belt buckle just made the whole outfit feel distracting. Angie K dressed in head-to-toe shiny beige, and let's just say there's a reason why people don't typically do that. The color and fabric of these cargo pants are both difficult to pull off, and for cargo pants to be made in this type of fabric at all is strange. Pairing them with this overly detailed top just didn't work either. Furthermore, the pared-down vibe of the shoes plus her hair and makeup just didn't jive well with the monochromatic top and pants. Welcome to Texas! And they wonder why we do this in Texas. Look at this, come on! It must be true that opposites attract, since Nicole Kidman always styles herself perfectly on the red carpet, and her husband, Keith Urban, wore this. There's nothing necessarily wrong with Urban's outfit if he was heading to the grocery store. This flannel paired with black jeans and casual black and white shoes just doesn't feel elevated enough for the occasion. Not only would we love to see Urban sporting something more formal, but it would also be great to see him taking a bit of a fashion risk. 